What's up, y'all? All right, I just finished my class, actually. Um, I didn't even think that, or it didn't even occur to me that uh, you can, you have to take a, um, a practice exam, essentially, is what it is, before you can take your final exam to exit the course or to exit each class. I actually only did through unit five out of eight units and spoke to my mentor yesterday. You're supposed to have like a weekly call with your mentor when you're a WGU student. And she recommended just taking the practice exam to see how I did because I'd probably be pretty surprised by my results. And she was correct. I passed the, the, uh, uh, the practice exam. And so I just said, screw it, you know, and I went ahead and did my full, my real exam right afterwards. I think I had to wait 20 minutes because I had to schedule it with a proctor. And they're serious about that shit too. They make you, uh, they make a proctor watch you through a webcam and listen to you and you have to have it set up just the right way. You can't have anybody else in the room with you. You have to show them around the room and show them your workspace so they know you don't have any notes. Now, I guess they're like really concerned with people cheating. It was super annoying. I actually, I really hated it. It was, it was way over the top. Like, like I had classical music playing on the TV in the background on the other side of the room and she made me turn it off. My girlfriend came home while I was in the test and didn't even come in the room because I told her she couldn't come in there. And uh, the dogs started barking and so she started yelling at the dogs and my proctor got on and was like, oh, is there somebody in the room with you? I was like, no, it's in the other room. I, I don't know what they think. I, I don't know, it was weird. Anyway, I got it all done. So I'm finished with the class, uh, day 22 of the month. So. That means in three weeks, I passed my intro to IT uh, class just by testing out of it, essentially. And you can go through your practice exam, see what you got wrong, and tells you where to study up on, and you can actually click the links on the ones that you didn't do quite so well on. It'll take you to that portion of your course so you can study up on it more. But yeah, no, I there's a, as long as you pass, I, I think it's, it's gotta be like, it's competent, you have to be competent in the information, but they have a bar to show you your competency from like 0% all the way to 100%, and then competency somewhere right around the 70% mark. So it's about a C, I would say. You have to pass pass the, uh, the, pass the exam with at least a, the equivalent, their equivalent to a C, a grade of a C. So I, if it was a letter grade, I probably passed somewhere in the 75 to 80% range, which isn't bad for not even finishing all the material. So now that that's done, I'll be able to start my next class. I can't remember exactly which one it is. I want to say it's intro to network foundations or something. I'll double check. I'm not going to worry about that. Since I passed this class with enough time to spare, I'll be able to uh, take this weekend off, and then on Monday when I start my next class, I'll update you guys and let you know uh, what that's going to look like, just from an overview. And I'm going to be doing about an hour, hour and a half every night after work, and then all day on one of my weekend days, for the most part, for like six hours, I'm just going to sit down and do schoolwork from like, I don't know, like 10 to 4 or something like that, and then the following day, I'll do um, probably Sunday, you know, I'll probably do a few hours at night and then continue in the morning or continue the next day throughout the week. So my goal is to finish two classes a month. So if I can finish two classes a month, which is extremely doable, especially, I mean, I was sick for a week and there were a couple of days where I didn't really do anything for school either. So I maybe spent seven or eight hours, no, maybe closer to 10 hours, closer to 10 hours altogether for this course, past the class. Uh, however, this is an intro class, so it's going to be much easier than anything going forward, I would assume. But now we really get to start diving into the specialty classes, starting to get gear me towards that, uh, being able to write code and develop software. So I'm really excited for this. I'll keep you guys informed, but... Yeah, three weeks in, already done with the first class. Uh, it was a breeze. Uh, you guys should uh, definitely look into this. And if you are already attending WGU or you're about to start, um, 
just keep following me. Uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe or turn on the little bell or whatever. And then whenever I post a video, I'll kind of give you an overview of the course and uh, let you know what I think, any a, a tips or tricks or opinions uh, that I have that may help you guys out. Uh, this exam wasn't too difficult. It was a little more difficult than the practice exam, but it just covers it's all multiple choice questions. It's multiple choice questions. And then there's a couple of questions where you have to choose two, the two correct answers out of four correct answers and check boxes, but there's no filling anything in. It was all very basic. So uh, you guys shouldn't have an issue with it, but I'll drop a video next week and let you guys know how everything's going with the new class. And uh, I'm going to take the rest of the weekend off. So have a good day, guys. Bye.